Buckle up. Game number four of the day, the last game here at PCS2 Asia is underway. Aaron Gell to wrap things up and we find out if Infantry can go back to back or if Triumphant Song Gaming or T1 can play spoiler. Decent lane path, not great if you want to go east, but for Infantry right near their home of Fairy Pier. All right. Plane is up in the air. Infantry drops to the 12 houses in the Fairy Pier like usual. T1 actually dropped right now, but it looks like they're going to be heading upwards, so this won't be a hot drop, unfortunately. And right now, T1 is just looking to probably farm towards Gatka. They're going to play with their game plan in the books, I have said. Well, if, if T1 goes for a trap right away on infantry, there's a hope. But the problem is, is infantry's drops, they, they spread out. So it's really hard to set up a trap where you're going to catch maybe even two of infantry inside of it. So mm, I think it's going to be really, really difficult now for T1 to really keep infantry at bay. But lest we forget, there's four AM and VLG still fighting over apartments. That is another site tournament we're having in PCS2 Asia. They're gonna go at it for the final match of the tournament once again. And let's see, it's eight to one for 4 AM. Can VLG come top out with eight and two? They're gonna drop right again. Who's got the first gun? We don't know just yet. There's a micro Uzi on two teams. Hey, Lou has a pistol. He's gonna find the nice dog. Hikari comes from the edge. Sprays down one player, but Pignon and Lambo's <laughs> gonna trade each other out. That's gonna be down to two on two now. Let's go, VSS. Ooh, Auto, ooh, Forever, that's all wow. he's got. He gets the knock onto Lambu with it. What a grenade from Forever. That is going to be some nice work for 4 a.m. But it is still VLG. They're still up, and Waste comes up and over, and it is nine for one. You can see Waste with some celebratory pump shots into the air, and VLG. Looks like the apartment fight this time around is not going to be in their favor. Yeah, I, I again, someone needed to get onto infantry early in this one. I, I either TSG or T1. Now, oh my Whoops. god, a lot of a lot of accidents going on here on Erangel. That's another run over by Ooh. SMG. But this fight kind of eh, not super important. La Vega coming up and over Zenith. Good. That is going to be small down. Mad gets finished off here. T1 should Adder, go on it. Trying to pick up some, trying to pick up some stuff. What did you say? T1 should go on the fight. Yes, they should. I agree with you. <laughs> You're absolutely right there, Bench. They should do something about this. Actually, T1 should get up on top of Everest and try to do something from up there. In my opinion, now they 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 can long range plink into this, but they're pretty hard angles to take. There's a lot of trees that are obscuring the vision. Over to Tianbo with Element 36 on the side. M200 in a world of trouble. If somehow, some way, Element 36 can get a handle, they don't. Lin Shun gets Pure Boy down and out easy. I'm not nobody able to get M200. I thought they might be able to do that. M200 has to get off the vehicle. That explodes, so luckily M200 was able to get off from it in time. But the fight over in the side of Pachinki. It's up at, no, it's Severni. Wow. Severni. That was up at Severni. Severni Gex Ace took out some yeah. sisters. Something. I don't oh. know what the heck they're doing up there. Lost Lock was able to find uh, two headshots with a with a M24. So uh, I hope we get to see a replay of it. But uh, right nice. now we don't have it right now. A T1, you know, if they have to leave it early or something like that, it could be it could be a problem coming out of Gatka. So. I, I'm still a little bit nervous for them, Infantry. I'm getting a little nervous for Infantry, though, too. They're on the edge of the circle. There's a lot of teams in front of them. So now Infantry knows because the bullets could be heard. Adder found the knock onto La Vega, and Infantry can tell there's T1 right in Gaka, annoying the drop shot. Speaking of hot dropping, it's going to be 4 a.m. running into Freaka Roa, and Shadow already knocked out. Hansi is the last one to be alive and holding onto it. Waste is going holding up the corner. Hansi gets knocked out. EJ is far away trying to provide some support, but is he going to go into this one? He might just run away of it. Looks like he's going to pull up and get off, but it's going to be two versus one. EJ knows that Waste is low, but EJ finds a spray down one on one now. <laughs> he gets the knock onto Waste. Good job by EJ. A little late on the help, but I guess better late than never here. Is EJ very hurt, but so is Forever. The spray coming through to finish Waste. That's a point in the bag for Afrika. Keeping themselves, you know, it's still going to be in the bottom half for them, but they're trying to make it a respectable finish. Trying to finish on a good note if they can win against 4 a.m. Forever comes around, finishes off Roa. Uh, puts themselves into eighth place right on the bubble there. Sol A1 Prince still alive. Uh, so for, for Sol A1 Prince, uh, they actually just bounced a couple members. They actually bounced Rex out of his compound along the western side of the mountain. So that's going to force a 2-2 grouping for T1 there. And at least Rex got out with his life forever now. Still in this duel with EJ that is uh, taking quite some time. 
And Ooh. that's EJ, some way, somehow, finds a clean headshot. That's going to be 4 a.m. out, finally. And now Sadies is going to be running into Element 36 to fight between the containers. Sophia finds a knock. Ukel is going to be spotted. Alpha, he's going to be running right into Sophia. Sophia looks right into Ukel as he Ukel is looking right away. Not in the right decision. Zach now is going to be running in. Satel spotted out, super low. And Aminot's going to be flanking around to the side. I like this view from our observers. This is really neat. Yeah, this is a great view of this fight. Actually, uh, optimal for a fight inside of the crates like this and Zach is just bouncing around seeing if he can find members Yuri comes through get some help onto him good stun into Zach's face but Zach with good maneuvering under duress comes around to the side and isn't really affected by that too much cuts across the other side he's still splashed but it's not going to be a push from element 36 to capitalize it meanwhile T1 starting to edge out a bit Rex is taking some damage it's getting worrisome for them <laughs> Sadie's does take down element 36 Rex has got to be careful Tianba's got that mountain position and it's easy to make it rain from up there here we go Longsker is very hurt. He's sending it. He's down. Max Zora is going to get Longsker. Now that point is not going to go into the hands of T1. So they're not able to catch up any ground on infantry just yet. Bullying up and over. Helen with a decent spray gets one shot. Now Solhei One Prince looking to try to gatekeep infantry as well. Helen continues to rain fire down on the bullying. No damage really done now as he is continues to work his way up. And Star Lord does get Kim Goni. That's a very important point here for T1. They need to really start racking up the kills. All right, Rex has found the spray down onto Zhao Yang. The final bullet isn't there just for Rex to find the knock there. Infantry is going to be able to reposition at the edge of this mountain. And right now, Lil Ghost is going to put even more hurt into infantry. Nine down dust and just two members alive. And his nine have more. Excess is going to be waiting in the edge. Zhao Yang, that's going to be Bo Yang pulling out from the UAZ. But he's going to have to pull the medkit and heal off. As Excess is going to be pulling the medkit of his own as uh -oh. well. Oh, sorry. They're <laughs> coming up over the... Oh, what? What? Lulu always is absolutely on fire Infantry's right gone. now. Infantry's gone. Infantry's gone. All right. The door is open. TSG has a very good chance. Infantry out right away. No points in the bag for infantry. This is really fascinating. Adder, uh, did he lose a tire? It looks Two like tires. He, he must have. Yeah, because he's having trouble with that. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Adder. All right, T1 now sending it in towards the way of Solheim Prince. Here you go. You need to do it. In the meantime, TSG is trying to clear out this compound where Lenren is holding on to. Lenren, good spray now, finds one. Can he get the second knock as well? No. TSG is going to be able to clean out this compound and try to get into the center circle. If possible, they're going to have to take the rest back onto their down teammate. In the meantime, T1 has sent it up the mountain. Starlord out in the front, raining, waiting. Magzora is going to be on the other end, try to provide some support fire. Well, here we go. Big do or die moment for Adder. Nope. It's going to be oh, Raining no. who gets the better of him and takes him down. Now Helen trying to come through. He does make Raining pay for it at least. You can see he's just spraying at anything he sees. Just reactionary trying. The adrenaline has to be flying right now for T1. They're trying everything they can, but it's too little too late. The rest, they can't put up one point in three games to start the day and have a hope here as things are falling apart. Kale does get Zack on the background. Star-Lord has the upper angle. Magzora's still down there. I think he just caught a glimpse of Magzora. Helen going to go for the grenade over towards Magzora. It's good! Wow, what a nicely timed grenade from Helen right on the head of Magzora. Here comes number two if it's on the money. Wow, Magzora got the first aid kit off just in time to avoid the death. T1 lost the kill onto Raining. Tiamba was able to steal that kill away, so I don't know if the nades are good enough. Ooh! What? Ooh. Songjang from miles away is going to land the nade onto Shan Dian. Ooh. He's going to find another knockout to 911. TSG is quick to fall apart now. Yeah, this is looking really bad for TSG. That's two members knocked. And here comes the survivors. They're fighting a couple different teams. There's EJ left from Afrika. And then you got Entis very strong up on top of the hill. Kale did go down to EJ. Peng is looking for EJ right now. He heard those shots. EJ is well booking it away from there. And for TSG right now, nobody's been flushed. But now there's a good angle for Under. He whiffs the first couple shots. Under going for the tires onto that vehicle. Kind of a little bit of desperation. Sung Jong down for for Peng EM. So right now, TSG, they are clinging to the edge of this cliff, literally and figuratively. Coming through, going for some reses is Peng. Over on the other side, T1 did get another kill, but right now, all eyes on TSG. There is hope. There is hope for TSG. It looks like they're going to be able to go for the res. In the meantime, T1 is able to rake up a couple more kill points onto Tiamba and La Vega. It looks like they're going to have four kills under their belt. The res onto Star Lord is possible. Res onto. Uh, Shan, the end is possible as well. So these two teams continuously fighting each other. And right now, not a lot of kills left in this lobby. And they, these two teams have to go aggressive, no matter what.
I mean, uh, literally, T1 needs to kill everybody else in this lobby. They literally have to kill everyone else in this lobby. It is almost over for them. They have to just start forcing the issue. They have to just brute force their way through the rest of these teams. Come up the ridge line of the mountain. Try to finish this out. Now, Maxora gone. Oh no. oh, no. Helen just got knocked. He traded. Star, Star Lord's Lord. knocked now. Not good. COC holding the line on the top. T TSG trying to come up the hill. There isn't much going on for T1. Their tournament lives on the line. Helen is out. It is looking dire. Rex goes down. T1 is out. They will finish in third place. T1 got knocked out. Now it came down to TSG. They need nine more kills. Or if they can win, then even better. All right, TSG has a really good shot now. Because of Gex Ace popping out, Indigo's position hasn't been revealed, and it looks like TSG might let, one, that, let that one pass, and that could be a thorn in the back. And Shandian trying to overlook at the edge of the circle, trying to wrap around as well. A nice little neat play, I would say. And now EJ is on the very top as well. Gex Ace spotted out. Shandian takes the kill point. TSG looks pretty strong right now. It is looking really, really good for TSG. Can they do this? Can they go and finish this with a win and take the tournament for themselves? It looks incredible. Now, if they lose somebody to Indigo, that could be really, really bad. And it kind of depends on where this circle shifts as well. Now, just nine players in this lobby. Four teams alive, which two is about to get knocked out as Ooh. Indigo and Africa. Freaks is a single player Ooh. alive. Shandian gets knocked out from miles away. Lulu always, how does he land these headshots? He's he's just on fire right now. Already four kills for Lulu always. Now XS going for the flank here. That was level three gear and a mark 14 for Shandian. You really do not want that position to fall down. Does Pang have any clue? Pang is moving over for the heal. That's going to be XS seeing him. He definitely spots that out. That is a finish now. The kill stolen by Indigo. More damage being done to TSG. They're getting surrounded by a couple different teams. XS going for the grenade, but Peng had already left that situation. He's going to move over and grab the utility that Sean Dion has on his dead body. And EJ definitely has been spotted out. 911 putting bullets in his way, and that's not going to be good. If if TSG picks up Afrika Freaks and takes the second it's place, it's over. It's over. That's going to be that's going to be a tournament. XS goes down. Huge opening for Peng M. What a shot from him. He's going to go right for that first aid. That is opening the door big time. That eliminates their biggest threat in this circle. If XS can get that flank open for COC, then it's then it's a real problem for Triumphant Song Gaming. Instead, it's going to be Peng M with maybe the biggest shots of the tournament for for this team. They are in a great position here, is TSG. Smokes are out for EJ. He's trying to get down the mountain. It is all but over here. TSG might be coming through with the victory. Volibear has, Volibear has flanked up to the top, and EJ could be easily spotted out here. Good kill! That's going to grant a kill point towards TSG, and now they have granted the second place, and we might, we're about to crown the Prince here. You're absolutely right. It is looking really good for TSG. This looks to be their tournament. It looks to be your PS2 champions are going to be TSG, but they got to finish this round out. Let's see if Lulu always got some magic inside of him. But at this point, the points are there for TSG, potentially. Lulu always coming up and over with that barrel, but he is completely surrounded. Look at the angles that TSG has on top of Lulu always. Volley Bear up high, 9-11 in the middle. Peng M on the flank. Is it going to be Peng M once again picking up another big kill here? Lulu always taking some damage from up top from Volley Bear. He's got a decent angle. Gets backed off by Lulu always. Now it's up on the side from Peng Ia GM. Thanks. Good grenade is going to finish it. TSG! They are going to do it. Your PUBG Continental Series 2 champions is going to be Triumphant Song Gaming. Congratulations to Triumphant Song Gaming. It had to come down to the final match of the total tournament. It had to be the 24th match out of all the matches for TSG to take the win here against Infantry. Unbelievable finish. What a moment for these guys. They come through and win the very final game of the day to take the tournament. Surprise, surprise. They come through, I cannot believe it. Methodical, efficient. So good today, two wins today for TSG. One on Miramar, one here on Erangel.